Hello and welcome back to One How To. Today we're exploring the use of suction cups in the foot and leg area. Depending on the foot and the type of suction cup you have, it might seem a bit complicated, but we're here to demonstrate it can also be very useful. So before we begin, it's important to apply a little balm or cream to the area we'll be working on, which is the foot, as well as this area here and the muscles. This helps to ensure a smoother application and reduces discomfort during the massage. Now let's talk about the suction cups. We have two types and today we'll be using this dynamic one. It's versatile, suitable for both motion and static use. As I place it on the leg, pay attention to my technique. If the suction cup has holes, it won't attach properly, you see? So I will externally rotate the leg slightly to find a more suitable spot to attach it. Once it's attached, I may need to provide some assistance to ensure it stays in place. These suction cups use a targeted pressure to break up muscle additions and loosen tightness. Perfect for relieving discomfort after intense exercise like cycling or sports. This technique I'm using here is not so different to squeezing toothpaste to get the blood flowing freely. I can move the suction cup around until it loosens, repeating this motion until it releases the muscle. One technique I particularly like is combining dynamic cupping like this with kneading. Even if the suction cup doesn't attach firmly, I continue with this method. Once I've worked on all of these muscles, I can proceed to the foot area. Working with suction cups on the feet, which is less common, requires smaller rubber suction cups, so keep that in mind. Once the suction cup has done its work, I conclude the treatment with some targeted kneading in the area. This can feel a little tender on some individuals, but it helps promote further relief. Now we'll switch legs and repeat the entire process for more balanced results. Remember, addressing both sides of the body is crucial for optimal outcomes. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope this cupping technique demonstration has been useful and stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials in the next video.